everybody to another episode of Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we have Lord of the Rings, and our forces are mainly from The Hobbit, partly to celebrate the last movie that's coming out. The forces of darkness are made up of Barrow Whites, a giant spider, a shade, and the Necromancer, which is actually Sauron in disguise. And on the other side we have the dwarves, which you're probably familiar with if you've been watching the movie or read the books, along with Legolas, Bilbo, and of course Gandalf the Grey. Both are set up pretty much just in a line directly across from each other. I noticed Bilbo was a little bit behind, and Gandalf was in front of him as if to protect him. Legolas was right next to him as if his personal bodyguard. That will bode well for Bilbo as long as they stay at range. The dwarves also have a bannerman, and they have some bowmen and they're better at defense, so I'd watch for them probably standing on the defense, making the evil spirits come to them. And that seems to be exactly what happened. At the end of turn one, the spirits have come forward and the dwarves are sort of standing their ground. They are standing there shooting their arrows at the evil ones coming at them. Not doing very much damage though it looks like. The spirits and the whites though do seem a little bit nervous of them as they are moving up from behind those trees. And at the end of turn two, it continues as the spirits are moving towards them. Legolas and the other bowmen are shooting at them as they run near. They got some good solid hits on the giant spider and caused one wound. Another two dwarves fired at a white, one of them getting his arrow stuck in a tree, and the other one hitting but not killing. Which actually makes sense because how would you kill any of these ghosts with just an arrow? I still don't understand that. The rest of the dwarves fired and were ineffective. They're not exactly known for their bow skills. And on turn three, the evil players have gotten up to the dwarves. The other spirits are continuing to creep forward taking cover behind that tree. It's a whole line of them up behind that tree. Very much like a cartoon. One of the dwarves shot and got two sixes, taking that barrel white down. He killed Whitey! Legolas continued to shoot but couldn't quite get a hit. Neither could the other dwarf archer. The spider, meanwhile, dropped off one of his children who rushed at one of the dwarves. The spider ate one of the dwarves, but the other dwarf ate the spider's child. That's a gourmet meal for the dwarves. On to the next turn, and the spider is just moving on to those dwarves, chomping them up as he goes along. Gandalf tried to immobilize them, but couldn't quite do it. And now the spider is trying to make a feast out of the banner man, who's just holding him back with his flag. The Necromancer moves up on the dwarves, spreading fear where he goes, and the Barrowites jump out of the trees, at last in hand-to-hand -hand with the dwarves. Meanwhile, another child of the spider has run over to one of the other dwarf archers, and one of the dwarves is charging past him, towards the Barrowite in front of him. The spirits try to send their fear spell at the dwarves, but they're not having any of it. They fire back at one of the Barrow Whites, but can't quite wound it. The Barrow Whites are really tough. I guess that's what happens when arrows just fly right through you. The dwarves go into hand-to-hand -hand with the Barrow White, but just aren't having very much luck with them. On to the next turn, and it is turned into a melee here. The baby spider is running at one of the bowmen, and the adult spider has eaten the banner man. And he has one of the bowmen in his clutches. But on the dwarf right flank, it's looking bad. The Barrow Whites have killed off two of them. It is some good rolls because they needed sixes to take them down. There's only one more brave dwarf warrior on that flank. The Necromancer sent a blast at Gandalf, which he resisted with a really good dice roll, as you can see. The Necromancer rushed up to one of the dwarves and took him down, and the evil spirit is continuing to try to paralyze his dwarf in front of him. The Barrow Whites are meanwhile just hurrying up to the dwarves and taking them all on. They're all locked in mortal combat. Gandalf now pulls off a great maneuver. He runs around to the flank of the spider and he shouts to him, You shall pass through your own troops! And he performs a spell that sends him reeling back through his troops. The spider does not save. The Necromancer had his mace up, was about to bring it down on a paralyzed Thorin Oakenshield, when all of a sudden the spider goes flying through him and the Barrow Whites, knocking them all over. He's like a baseball player. Home run! And on the field we have a correspondent that sounds spookily like me. Let's turn to him for the results of this exciting turn. So a pretty exciting turn. Gandalf allowed this dwarf to die. I only needed to use one might to save him, but he's like, No, I might need him to kill Sauron. Ugh. So Sauron being on the ground is helpless on the top of that tree. But, uh, and when this dwarf goes to charge, he uh, has to pass a fear test. He rolls an 11, and so he's going to jump on there and kill that guy. Um, let's see. What else is there? Uh, uh, Thorn Open Shield is paralyzed because of these guys. He's still fighting there. 
this dwarf tried to charge the uh, the uh, spider and got scared away and ran to the hills. Yee! Um, this uh, let's see what what else is movement. That's really it. Gandalf, of course, came here, and Legolas has gotten himself in a way and over here. And actually, this is the real reason that Gandalf allowed uh, uh, the dwarf to die, the banner bearer to die, because, hey, it's a, it gives a free shot to uh, Legolas. Now with a clear shot, Legolas goes machine gun on their asses. He fires three times on the spider, misses twice, but the last one does another wound on him. And he shoots at the shade, hitting it twice, but getting no wounds. He should be clearing this whole field, but he's just not backing up his hits with kills. And with the necromancer down, one of the dwarves goes running up there. He jumps on top of the tree. He brings his axe down on the necromancer. He hits him. He kills him. The necromancer is gone, but he uses a fate point, gets a reroll, and manages to save. The Barrow Whites, meanwhile, keep hitting the dwarves, but they just can't get through their toughness and their armor. Dwarves are just really resilient, I tell ya. The Barrow Whites got up and used Paralyze to freeze the entire dwarf army. They even got Gandalf, who is now frozen in place. This is really looking bad for the dwarves. And now the necromancer has gotten up, and he is ready to exact his revenge. Legolas fires three times, hits each one in a row. The Barrow White, then the Shade, then the necromancer. He doesn't get a wound on any of them, though. However, he does make the necromancer have to use his other fate point to survive. He is now out of fate points and vulnerable. The necromancer side tries to take advantage of the dwarves being paralyzed and attacks them but can't quite get through to them. The spider tries to eat Thorin Orkenshield there in the middle, but he uses a fate point to keep himself alive. He's using his legs to keep himself out of the spider's maw. One of the dwarves, meanwhile, gets up and pushes away three Barrow Whites all on his own. And the necromancer steps on the tree, looking down at the dwarf that dared to defile him, his mace raised, ready to bring it down on him, but just as he does, the dwarf comes unparalyzed and rolls out of the way. The necromancer at last tires of the minion dwarf and steps past him towards his real quarry, Gandalf the Grey, who already has a couple Barrow Whites standing over him. Another Barrow White comes around to try to help the spider kill Thorin Oakenshield. The others continue to try to destroy their own prey as well. Legolas, still protecting Bilbo, making sure he doesn't turn evil and kill everybody on his own side, and at last kills that spider which was just about to consume Thorin. One of the dwarves attacks the necromancer and doesn't damage him, but he definitely gets his attention. That leaves the Barrow Whites and the spider to take on Gandalf themselves, and they just can't do anything. But on the other side, the Barrow Whites manage to kill off the remaining dwarves on that flank. The necromancer ignores the dwarf and takes on Gandalf personally. He chills his soul with a spell. Gandalf uses a fate point to try to preserve himself, but it doesn't work. His soul is chilled, and he goes down. That is it for the Dwarf player. He has no hope without Gandalf. Legolas sees the hopeless situation. He grabs Bilbo and takes him back to his home where they can plot their revenge. Maybe they can get Bilbo's nephew and try again with him. Or maybe evil Bilbo, who knows. But for now, they have lost. Not all hope is gone, though, because Gandalf will be back in a whole new wardrobe. But that'll be another battle for some other day. For now, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Enjoy The Hobbit, and watch our other videos. Happy gaming, everybody!